Okay, we're going to talk about wiggle room and celebration. And the reason I like to talk about those things in sync is because when you have more wiggle room, you get to celebrate more things. And so that is kind of your incentive for the first part because that's a little harder than the second part. Celebration, we all get, we enjoy. It's Thanksgiving. We're probably going to do at least a little bit of celebrating this week. Um, and to get that opportunity more often, we want to make sure we have wiggle room. So we're going to start there. And yes, you are going to literally wiggle at some point this afternoon. So just in case you were curious, yes, I will make you wiggle. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about what it's like when you have wiggle room, right? Because I want to get your attention and get you excited about this idea. So when you have wiggle room, this is the kind of stuff that happens. You don't feel rushed all the time. Who's in already? Right? Yes. Okay. So you don't feel rushed all the time. You aren't always late. You aren't constantly making excuses for things. You look, don't look at your calendar and have a solid block on your calendar. For those of you that are like me and use an electronic calendar, there are days, right, when there is no white space on that computer screen, and that is not what a person with Wiggle Room's calendar looks like. Um, you accomplish your to-do list on most days. Who's totally in now, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. And some additional things about Wiggle Room. And there was a... This looked weird, right? Did you notice that? So we have that, and then it goes to the middle of the page. There was a reason for that, because if you look at this bullet, it sort of kind of personifies that weird thing that just happened. You experience things that aren't on your schedule, and you enjoy them. Because when you have wiggle room, you actually can take advantage of things that are not on your schedule. When we do not have wiggle room, we have to say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. And then we lose the opportunity for all of the beautiful, spontaneous, wonderful things in life that typically aren't on our calendar when we start the day. More things about wiggle room. You don't have to have these conversations with yourself. All right, well, if I wear this dress, I don't have to iron, so that's five minutes. And then if I don't take my lunch today, then that's five more minutes. And then if I don't blow dry my hair and just put it up, then, right? Okay, you don't have to have those kind of conversations when you have wiggle room. You don't have to keep looking at your clock or your watch, and now nobody looks at those anyway, right? We look at our smartphones to find out what time it is. And this is a really important thing. You aren't annoyed when someone wants to talk to you. <laughs> when we don't have wiggle room and someone wants to have a conversation, sometimes we are annoyed with them. And that is not okay. And the reason, of course, we get annoyed is because we have to go to the next thing. Yet all they're trying to do is just to embark on a lovely dialogue. Yet you are too busy. So that is what happens when you have wiggle room, all of these beautiful things. Sound good? 